Hi guys, so um, this video, um, this YouTube video is dedicated to showing you how you can set up your own WordPress website in one single long video. And as you can see, I'll run through how to, how to, how to get a server. So basically through a, a cloud compute platform like um, DigitalOcean, I'll be using DigitalOcean, talk a little bit of, about that later on. And we'll install the prerequisites for WordPress, so mainly the LAMP stack on the, on the WordPress server or on the server. And we'll show it live. So in DigitalOcean, if you want to say set up your WordPress website, right, you can actually just get a droplet and you can just deploy straight away because they have WordPress pre-installed. So you can see uh, under one click apps, they actually have WordPress on the bottom right. So on 18.04 just means Ubuntu, but we're just gonna we're gonna go straight just raw and we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna use um 16.04. You could do 18.04 and 18.10, but the command line will actually Defer slightly, yeah. So let's just run through. We're gonna. This is how you're gonna deploy a server. So basically, it's a cloud compute platform. You are able to, you know, say I want this server. I want this um one gigabyte, one CPU. This is the RAM, and I want this server five dollars a month, and I want to deploy it in Singapore. No need an SSH key. You can set the host name, and I want this. I want. I want to make the server, and I want to get it. So then you actually have to pay for it. But if you do sign up with my referral link, you will get the, uh, I believe $100 of credits. And yeah, so you can see the server, the uh, DigitalOcean calls their servers droplets. So they'll, it's setting up. And while it's setting up, we can talk about some of the prerequisites. So if you go to wordpress.com or .org, sorry. You can see there's a button on the top right that says get WordPress. So let's get it. And scroll down, you can see the requirements. So today we're going to run through, we're going to try to get uh, WordPress version 7.3 up. You know, with, oh sorry, that's PHP. So we're going to install PHP, MySQL, and Apache. So we're not going to play with Nginx, but um, in the future we might do something like that. So I do have snippets of how to install this and that on my YouTube channel, but this is a one long video just to show you how to get things working. So we have our droplet. I'm going to quickly check my email on my other screen and basically if I don't have a SSH key linked to my droplet, uh, DigitalOcean will link you your password and your IP address but actually you can just see the IP address here. So yeah, once you're done with that, you either if you're on Windows, you might want to use Putty but I'm just going to go straight with Terminal So, and then the IP address. So on Win on OS X, which is you know the Mac, you can actually just type SSH and then the IP of the address uh, followed by the sorry the username followed by the address. So username is root and the password. I'm just going to copy paste it in, <clears throat> and then again and type our new Unix password. And once we have our Unix password, you can see that we obviously have access to the server, so we can do a lot of things. So yeah, so put that aside. So we, we, now we have access to our server and the first thing we want to do is install the LAMP stack. So that's simply done. Just go to Google, right? Just go to Google and then what you want to do is just type LAMP stack installation. So you can, there's actually a, um entire script to install everything, but we're just going to run through one pretty quickly. So let's just, just type in some other stuff. So Ubuntu. 16.04 since that is what we are on you can see Ubuntu but 16.04 I'm sure and yeah so you can see this is a tutorial on digital oceans blog or you know writer writer blog or community blog sorry that, that you can follow and you can change to different versions so go ahead and follow this and yeah so let's run through this and I'll talk through some of the steps so yeah for first first you want to you know install Apache and allow on firewall so I'll provide the this link into the documentation below. So install this to make sure you update this, the um, you know the distribution first. So once that's done, you want to install Apache two. So Apache two is just a web server. So basically, it um, you know receives all the port eighty and four four three requests, and you know um, redirect them to a website that you have. So install Apache. You can see six hundred and forty six four six four three six kilobytes of. So install Apache. Yeah, and if you don't know about command line, basically there's a lot of simple stuff. You got um sudo, so sudo allows you to, you know, execute as the administrator. And yeah, so about this, the config test, this file, this line basically allows you to test 
whether your config file is okay so you can see let me just enlarge this okay you know what i'm i'm a little bit ocd so i need the whole oh, okay never mind okay yeah so you can see basically this just test the config file that you have so your config file is this is um, located in etc slash apache2 slash apache2 config so um you could directly edit edit everything through um the terminal but i find that a little bit confusing but let's just let's just this is just an alternative so if you really really hate you know don't you don't like the terminal you can just connect to your to a new site on fozilla so fozilla is a file transfer protocol um oh my god what's going on so fozilla is just a file transfer protocol software you can you know type place a new site in so digital ocean give me tutorial and then we can get the IP address of the server so I'm just gonna get that from my other screen paste it in and what you wanna do is oh that's the sorry so what you wanna do is you wanna change the protocol to SFTP so this is SSH file transfer protocol and don't need the port so user is obviously root <coughs> and the password you want it to be the password that they send you via email or you could alternatively you know um add a key file and this will connect to your server you always trust the host because it's your server nothing's you know malicious so once it's connected you will be able to edit and look at all the files in your server so it might take a while not sure why but usually it's quite quickly quick all right but nonetheless let's you know if it doesn't connect we'll just see oh it is not connecting did i type the password wrongly Hmm. Oh, I saw one letter go off there when I was typing the password. Okay. Now my yeah, but this is just an alternative, although it's not working. I don't know why. Yeah, but okay, let's just you know go with the the default. So they use nano. Nano is a text editor. So what you want to do is copy this and paste it in, and you will see that you go into a configuration file. So here you want to actually go down all the way down so you know it could it could go faster but yeah but i don't know how to nano is a bit you know i don't really like i mean i like nano i prefer nano compared to vim but yeah so you want to go all the way down and you want to you know type your server name so if you don't have your if you have a domain go ahead and add that in so type server name and my IP is 206-189-156-64 So type that in Control O to write it out And save it and exit So once you're done with that you can see that It will ask you to you know The, the, the guide asks you to check your config file So you can see the syntax is okay it Means everything else is fine There's no error And all you can do now Is just restart the Apache service yeah and before we do anything else you want to you don't adjust the firewall to allow your web traffic because if not nothing's going to be there so you can see these are the apache applications that we have but for now we're just going to do apache foo because you want port 80 and 443 so 80 is for websites 443 is for sorry 80 is for main websites without um, ssl and 443 is for ssl so you can allow this they're just showing you the info and yeah and now what we can do is we can actually test it out so we can just type our server IP in so I'm not sure if it's that 9156 and 64 so if we hit enter you can see Apache loads as usual yeah so that's cool Apache is working so your web server is working and actually all you have to do is go back to Fauzilla so I'm just gonna connect to this um, where was it this yeah so let me just check quickly because we need this to connect we need this to upload our wordpress files right which is weird because ssh normally used to work but for some reason it's not okay let's try this then there we go so I'm just gonna copy the password and paste. But it's not working. It's totally fine. Yeah, but you can see Apache works and it's located here. 
yeah okay so next thing you want to you know yeah you don't need to do all this because we've done that and we're gonna install mysql so mysql i've done a video on i did a video uh just earlier <clears throat> so install mysql just copy paste the commands in it's very simple you can read all this but there's nothing to read about honestly so press y yeah and it should prompt you for a password oh actually this this probably might or might, might not because you, you do need to type this in so let's just wait for it and you know i'll try to fix the background why Faisal isn't you know logging in yeah so it's up it's asking you to type in the password i'm just going to type in my password so remember this password this password is going to be really important in the in the future for any ssl sorry for any database stuff you have connected to mysql okay so let's just wait for a second it's like broken okay yeah so that's done and what you want to do now is you can i believe you can skip all this because this uh it's just setting the password stuff and you want to install php so php is just the language that wordpress runs on and yeah just install this so that will 14 megabytes of this space will be used and now we want to you know add it into the apache mod so apache you know understands that it's um, the index php is there and yeah so it will read php files so we're just gonna copy that in as well it's gonna open up another text and you can see that it's already in but we want to actually move it to the front because you know PHP is what we are looking for so I'm gonna just go back and delete the dot PHP here and move it to the front and write it out and exit oops sorry that's the wrong command write it out and exit so once you're done with that you can actually just restart Apache And PHP will be loaded for that. With this, you can check. Yep, you can see that Apache is just is active now. And yeah, so now you just we have to install some um, other modules to make sure because PHP there are many modules in PHP. You can Google and find out. You can install enhance you know PHP, blah blah blah, and let's see the modules that there are you know the different modules. So you can see there is oh wait I might have yeah I might have keyed this in wrongly yeah that was the Apache thing I didn't stop it okay never mind so let's clear that and let's type in that so you can see all these are, are PHP modules it's a whole bunch really really a lot a lot so let's exit oh, forgetting exit is that yeah okay so once you're done you can you know see what sort of package you want and install it with this command or just you know check the like what the long description of the package is over here and yeah so php cli we're not going to walk through that install it using this and we're not going to we're not going to do that so instead we're going to we're going to go into the web server so apache we're going to change some of the files so let's just do this So if you're a little bit confused on where this uh, directory is right so var is just different stuff ww is the main you know where the files are stored for the server for the web server so here we can do a little bit of php so this is the command in php that will load up a page or tables full of um, php information so i will show you that in a second so once you're done go back here and then you want to go to info.php that will load up all the php information yeah so with that you're done with installing mysql and php in under 15 minutes and what you want to do now is you know install wordpress but i can't connect to the server because there's a problem so 
normally you'll be able to connect through SSH like that but um, there is some authentication problems so I'll just look into that and I'll cut back into the video so thanks for watching guys hi guys welcome back so we're gonna use um, MySQL we're gonna create sorry I managed to connect the, the um, server so or I actually just forgotten that I changed the password at the start so before we do anything else we're gonna go to MySQL we're gonna go to the server into the command line we're gonna type MySQL U user so group and then the password is going to pop you for password I'm going to type in my password and then we have MySQL so what we're going to do next is actually we're going to create the, um, the WordPress um, you know the WordPress yeah WordPress database so I'm just going to type in create database and WordPress then that when it says query OK it means the WordPress is done and we actually want to grant the access so grant all privileges on a bit oh, sorry WordPress not all to root at sorry so root at localhost and sorry yeah done so you can see it is yeah done and what we're gonna do is like, we're just gonna flush the privileges so this will remove all the older you know the older privileges and use the new one so yeah once you're done with that go ahead with the we're actually going to change this so i'm going to rename this to press config not sample so don't i was trying something out earlier but don't worry so go back to your website just going to load the website um yeah. so go back to your website so 206 and then wordpress then just type text like score change your username and password so passwords for you. Username for your root, and you can see, yeah, we can't. Okay, you can't write. That is, don't worry about that. What you want to do is you want to find the. Con, you actually want to just right click WordPress, right? Sorry, just WordPress. Oh wait, so hold on. Yeah, so you can see you want to actually just copy this. Copy and then go under here. Your Fozilla, edit and just paste the entire thing in so that's the proper settings and everything and just run this donation so this will you know create everything oh sorry i actually didn't save it oh i didn't save it okay hold on so php yeah and submit so i think it will work now oh my god hold on, hang on guys So you can see WordPress is a pain in the ass sometimes, but it's totally fine. You can you know work work our way around it. Submit and we need to make a file. So go on the create new file. wp-config.php. As you can see follow the instructions and then edit. And yeah, let's just kind of download the new one. Paste that in. And then it should ask us to save it in. So just give it a second, yep, and then just save it and then run the installation. So yeah, this will run the installation. You can see you're done with the you're not done with the installation, but you move you moved on to the next phase. So let's just say this is a sample or you know a WordPress tutorial. Or let's just give the website name so Brian or something. And the username Brian as well, that works. Password, we're gonna make it something simple. So I could log in, but that's fine, I guess. Um, email. Let's just um, let's just use like an email. And yeah, we'll just encourage the search engine to index the site. And you can see, yeah, we can log in now. So let's log in. You can see this is the WordPress. This is the, the URL. So let me just and type my password in. Yeah, you're in WordPress. So, anytime you go to your website and you know, slash WordPress, you see that you're on WordPress. So, yeah, that was your installation for WordPress. If you 
you don't want to do anything else on WordPress. You can just install the plugins, you can change the appearance, you can add new users, you can change settings, you can comment, you can add pictures. You can do a lot of stuff on WordPress, and which is why it's on the, you know, about 60 or 70% of the entire, you know, World Wide Web runs a WordPress website. So yeah, that is WordPress. That is how you install it under, um, what, 20 minutes? The full process. And although I was following the blogs and talking, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And yeah, that is how you install WordPress. I'll link everything I, you know, read up on this and that into the description below so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video